I'm getting kind of hungry. It's time for a pizza. So, it's time for some lunch. I really want some pizza. But, I've been biking all this way and I'm outside a cell phone range. I really want a pizza. What if I can order one with Winlink and a Balfang? Let's find out. So I brought just my, make sure you see me. I brought just my small portable station with me so I can send some Winlink traffic. So what I have with me is this little small bag and my Microsoft Surface. Let's start with the small bag. In the bag, what I have, really simple kit. I've got a simple Balfang radio, the antenna for it, a digi rig. I've got the USB C cable that I need in order to connect the digi rig to the surface. And then I've got two cables. These both came from DigiRig. The green one is for programming the Balfang. The black one is for controlling the Balfang. Setting it up is really simple. Start by putting the antenna in. And you wanna make sure that you're set on the radio to the frequency that you want to connect to. In my case, it's 145.030. You can hear all the static on there. It's pretty loud. As soon as you take this cable, plug it in, you'll know when it's fully seated because the sound all goes away. Now we'll hook it up to the computer. First, we're going to plug it into the digi rig. In the digi rig, there's two ports on the side that you can connect to. There's an audio port and a serial port. This one is going to go in the audio port for this cable. It just plugs in like that. Here's the USB C cable that just plugs in. And this one also came from digi rig. And notice they install the ferrites on it, so it cuts down on any interference that you might have. It's a great cable. And I'll take my Microsoft Surface, and the DigiRig just plugs into the USB-C port on the Surface. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and launch RMS Express, which is the WinLink program. And what we're going to do is we're going to use VAR FM. So up here in the upper right where the drop-down is, I'm going to select VAR FM WinLink and I'm gonna hit the open session button. That's gonna open my WinLink session. And already the Balfang and the DigiRig are talking to WinLink. Let's check some of the settings that we wanna make sure we're using. Up here in your VARA FM settings inside of WinLink, the only option here is the VARA TNC setup. I'll go ahead and select that. And you can see it's set for my local host, 127.0.0.1. The virtual TNC port is set to 8300. It's got the location of where my VARA FM is installed. Automatically launch VARA TNC when the session is open. Show the VARA TNC when it's launched and then just hit update. It'll reestablish its connection and we should see VARA come back up and we should see some signal coming in. You can see the signal coming in right here. We'll adjust that in a second. Let's check the settings here in VARA FM for connecting with a Balfang and a DigiRig. I'll click on settings and we'll first come up here to VARA setup. Here you just have this set for wide. I've got my DigiPeter running on W6AH-3. My call sign and my VARA license key are already set in. I'll go ahead and hit close. Oh, there's that 8300 right there that we were looking at over in the WinLink settings. Now we'll come back up here to settings. We'll come down here to sound card. For the DigiRig, your device input is the one that says USB PNP sound device and you should have that set for both your input and your output sound devices. You've got a tune button here and an auto tune. I'll go ahead and get closed for right now. Let's check one more set of settings. We'll come down here to settings. We'll come down here to the PTT settings. Inside of PTT, you want for a DigiRig to be set to PTT via COM. And then for COM port, you want to set it to the COM port that your DigiRig is showing up as. And you only need the RTS set for the PTT pins. Let's show you where that uh, COM port is showing up at. 
right now you can right now you can see it's set to com port 7 if i come down here to my start menu right click on it select device manager here's the device manager you're looking for the com ports there they are right here ports and you can see com port 7 silicon labs this is the digi rig right here great so all that's set up now let's take care of the audio level settings you can see how my vu meter is way up here near the red in order to deal with that, we're just going to take the bow thing itself and we're going to control the volume level on it. See how I adjust the volume level and it will adjust the level of the VU meter. We're looking for that VU meter to be showing up right here at about 75% quality. Perfect. Now, let's see if we can get a connection. So I already have my direct connection set up for W6AH-10. That's my gateway. It's not too far from here. Let's see if we can get a connection to it. We'll just tech, do a quick check to see if we've got it. You can see that we're transmitting both on the radio and we're seeing it here inside of VARA. And we're getting a good solid connection. Excellent. We got a good connection. We've tested our server. Now let's go ahead and send our Winlink traffic. To do that, I'm just gonna close this window and I'm gonna come back over here to Windlink. I'm gonna open a new message. In the to field, I'm gonna enter the call sign of the person I'm gonna send the message to. In this case, I'm gonna send it to W0DHG. And for a subject, please send pizza. For the message, I'm gonna say, hi, David. Please order me a large Supreme pizza from Marcos. I'm on the trail and out of cell range. Hopefully you get this and the pizza is ready by the time I bike there. Thanks. 73W6AH. I'm going to go ahead and post that to my outbox and you can see I've got one item in my outbox. Now I'm gonna come back here, up here to open session. Hit open session. I've got the radio ready to go. The levels all look right. Now let's go ahead and send the traffic. I'm just gonna click on the start button. And you can see the radio is going into transmit mode. And you can see here on VARA, we're getting the connection. It's sending the traffic. It looks like a, we have a really nice connection. This little bow thing has got a 566 bits per second connection. Really nice connection. And there we go. The traffic is already sent. Let's see if you got the message. I'm gonna come back here into Winlink Open session. I've got the bow thing still set up. Press start, see if we get a connection again. Hold it up a little bit. There we go. Oh look, there it is. Download check message. Oh, great connection. there it is. One message received. Okay, let's see what he said. Large Supreme, 1831, about 10 minutes. I got to get moving.
You have an order for Chris? Yes. What's the total? It's uh, 1831. Perfect. Thank you. That'll be it. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm.